you are taking notes with me, we are going to factor the number 122 different ways. The first is a factored tree method, which I am sure you guys have seen before. With a factored tree, we put branches down. And we divide by two factors that we know work for 120. Two. Two, two and what? Sixty. Okay. Is two a prime number? So we circle it because that means that branch is done. The branch stops growing when we're at a prime. And so I'm going to go to 60 because it's not done. Give me two numbers that can be... Two and thirty. Sure. And I have another branch that's ended. What about 30? Two and fifteen. Thank you. Heck yeah. Two is dead. The two branch is done because we're stopping their growth, but what about the fifteen? Three and five. And then we're done. Okay. This works. When we're trying to find all the prime factors of a number, you can make a factor tree. It's not my favorite method because if you've got a number that's got lots and lots of factor, it, like the branches can get messy. But this is how we would write the solution. 120 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Whoa. Oh my God, that's so helpful. Or the shortcut is 120 is equal to 2 to the third power cool. times 3 times 5. Wow. It's not my favorite method. The other method is my favorite, but I feel like you should be able to choose your own. So I'm going to teach you my favorite method, which is called the birthday cake method. And some of you, some of you may have seen this as well. The birthday cake method starts at the bottom. So put 120 down here. We kind of do upside down division. We're going to put a layer over this. And on the outside, we're going to put a prime factor of 120. Dos. We're going to put 2, and what would go up here then? 60. As we're building this layer cake, the number on the outside here has to be a, has to be a prime number. <laughs> Okay, so that's important. Has to be a prime number. So what prime number can I divide 60 by? Two. Three. Let's do three. Or three, yeah. That gives us 20. What can I divide 20 by? Two. Okay, I can't do four because it's not prime. I could do five. I could do two. I heard people say two, so I'm going to go with two. Wow. And then I get 10, which gets divided by 5, five. five which gives us 2. Oops, mm -hmm. I'm making my layer cake too tall. And wow. then it's not done until you have the birthday candle on top. What you mean? Wow. Okay. Stop. Sorry. And again, <laughs> same answer we got from before. 120 is equal to, this is why I like this method better. To me, it's a little cleaner because all of my prime factors are down the side here and I'm not going to accidentally miss them. I know sometimes when I've made factor trees and they go crazy, sometimes I've missed where a number is. So it could be 2 to the third power times 3 times 5 or 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay? We are going to spend the next few minutes with you guys taking your booklet and practicing this. You have this paper, which are all the prime numbers below 100. When you're finished, and I'm going to give you guys eight minutes for this, this is what I want your page to look like in your notebook. You're going to glue the prime numbers here so you have it to reference. And your completed booklet will be glued so here. Nice. Okay? Eight minutes, go. <laughs> 